point. Cool. So you go yeah. ahead. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> See what comes up. <laughs> Oh, remember when you last played another sport? Um, I played a bit of basketball. Did you? <laughs> yeah, on my own. Oh. And um, I kind of fell over, like just running in a straight, straight line. So then I had to rest after. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's I, not a great way to try no, and get injured, no. especially playing on your own with no one to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I just like, I love basketball, but then it's not the best thing to do before like preparing. Yeah. Because I was wearing like running shoes and then I'm just like tripped in <laughs> on my own. And like, that's not, not, not great. So no. There's not even anyone trying to take no. the ball off you. <laughs> no, no, that's and true. All right. Remember when we met in the 2013 British Open? <laughs> 2013 British Open, yeah. <laughs> that was my first British Open final and uh, it was I, the biggest deal of it all felt like the night before the final and we, yeah. had, uh, we had that big dinner, uh, do you yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, this is crazy. It's I all just, happening, yeah, yeah. And there was questions and everyone was at the front and there was the men as well and it was Greg and Rami maybe was yeah, it? Yeah, um, yeah. Oh it was so. really nice like Liz and uh, her mom they had all yeah, the questions yeah. and all the legends came in and yeah it, it was, was a really, really nice, nice dinner I felt like yeah. and then the next day was considering it was my first British Open final I don't yeah. really remember feeling that nervous so yeah, I expected a, to be more nervous than I was and the hype I guess of yeah, everything yeah. Was great. yeah I guess that's one of the reasons I felt like I I played quite well that day and um mm -hmm. I think in the future British Open, the, the ones that were to come in the future, then yeah. I think I've felt probably more nervous after winning, But mm. um, and particularly when I've played other opponents in the final or in yeah. semi-finals, I feel like they've been less nervous, and so yeah. I sort of understand that a bit more now. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it was a great experience as well, like, and it got me spurred on to play better that next year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah, your turn. Um, remember when you had your last vacation? Um, my last vacation was... Uh, it's Malaysia considered <laughs> vacation. <laughs> Maybe when you don't live here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, my last vacation would probably be... Uh, I can remember being in Italy. And uh, nice. yeah, I went to Florence and it, it was a lot of fun. I like doing holidays on my own yeah. to just get like free my mind and have a good ah, weekend nice. and then uh, went to the vineyards and just <laughs> just like to have a few days of just chill and then yeah. after that get back to training yeah. again. How about you? Did you, like, did you not go um, for Liz's birthday somewhere as well? Was that Oh yeah, saying, yeah. Or? We went to, oh yes, uh, we that's considered a uh, yeah, holiday. <laughs> uh, we went, squash. Yeah, we went to uh, like Ibiza for a good like for her 50th birthday and it was a great group like 14 of us and um, just uh, really had a good good time just wow, uh, yeah I know there. she's yeah she knows how to, uh, it's just good friends of us and we're all getting to know each other as yeah. well so it's great but uh, no how about you like yeah um, last one the last vacation was on the way back from Hong Kong because the world yeah. was cancelled oh yeah yeah <laughs> so yeah. we stopped uh, in Dubai for I think four nights. Okay. Um, yeah, really nice. Oh, yeah. Um, on Jamira Beach and um, oh, really Disney. nice hotel. <laughs> yeah. Really. Yeah. Oh, it was so nice um, and the weather was great because it wasn't so hot like mm. December. So yeah, um, mm. yeah, really enjoyed it. So, but I'm looking forward to the next vacation in uh, yeah. after, after we're done in Dubai. Oh <laughs> yeah, I think holiday. everybody's waiting holiday for that time. One. Holiday holiday yeah. time. All right, let's go. Next one, dig in deeper. All right. Remember when we met in the Worlds in 2012? 2012, yeah. In Cayman, Cayman Islands. Islands. <laughs> I think yeah. That's the, the best Worlds, like to just be in the island, right? <laughs> yeah. It was um, it was a really amazing event because the first two years, although it wasn't the Worlds, I'd missed the Cayman Islands yeah, because yeah. of injury. Yeah. So it was my first time there, and everyone knew what they, what to expect, and I didn't. And then I What's turned first, up. And yeah, first time, time, first in, time in Cayman. Oh, yeah. And nice. um, and then I got sick for two mm. days before the yeah. tournament started, like really sick, like yeah. didn't leave the room sick, and turned up to play my first round. And, Just food poisoning. And didn't, or? I think so, like yeah. a t a something, and. Um, I literally 
covered my face in makeup and just put a face on and thought just probably not going to win <laughs> and uh, and then yeah, I made the, the finals, finals yeah and and obviously it was um like I played the first round and then I had a rest day yeah. and then by the time I played the next match I was I it. was so much better yeah. yeah it was totally fine but just I always look back on that tournament quite positively because mm. considering how I felt when the first round you came you never and, know what to expect yeah. you just go in okay yeah. I'm just not gonna thing and just gonna yeah. see if I can get on court and play yeah yes. definitely yeah. <laughs> and then I also remember that event really well because I played Nicolette which mm. was an unbelievable atmosphere because yeah. it was obviously that sort the Caribbean, of Caribbean real, yeah. and it was so hot do you remember how yeah. hot it was on that court yeah <laughs> I remember like I think that when I played Annie I think the second round was or like later in the yeah. rounds it was boiling like well, I was, that was literally after the warm-up it just yeah. like Really and that good. was when I played Nicolette I think on that same night the yeah. second round and she yeah. and we had to have the floor wiped all, all the time yeah, and she yeah. was trying to say after the match that it was me and then <laughs> at the interview they kept her on even though she'd lost to interview yeah. and there was a puddle underneath her when she finished talking <laughs> and I'm yeah. like see yeah, it wasn't not me. just me it's, it was like, all you yeah, mostly yeah. you <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, true. So no, it was it was a it was a it's it was a good event. experience. Yeah. Definitely out there. I wish we could go back again. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to win it there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I yeah. know. I bet it was a really good event and uh, a good match though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. It was a big deal to make your first World Open final. Like, yeah. how many was that for you? <laughs> <laughs> that was my fifth one. Fifth. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like whether yeah. or not. I, but it's always a special moment, you know, winning the yeah. world title and to actually win it in a place where, you know, it's just the atmosphere was just amazing. Yeah. And you just get you get buzzed from just playing and yeah. and uh, yeah, it was just it was very memorable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was I remember feeling like it was a big deal when I went into the that mm. World Open final. I think yeah. it helped me a lot for the the next one that I made because yeah, yeah. I think you have to get that experience under your belt, don't you? Even yeah. if it was a loss. So yeah, for yeah. sure. Okay, yep. my turn. Yeah. Remember when you first became world number one? Um, yeah, that was in after I won my semis against Vanessa in Hong Kong in okay. the World Championships in 2005. That was the turning point that. If I made it to the finals, I'll be world number one. Okay. And uh, I didn't, I didn't even know people saying, "Oh, you got to world number one." And I was like, "You didn't really? go before the semi-final." Well, I was. People were say, talking about it. I was like, "You know what? I, I'm, I'm the third seed, and I'm playing Vanessa. She was the number one yeah. seed." And I was like, "Okay, you know, I'm gonna just see how it goes." You know, I wasn't expecting anything, and I, I beat her three one. And when I got to the finals, I, I can't believe it. You know, it's I'm world number one, and then. I still had to play Rachel in the finals, and then when I won the Worlds for the first time in Hong Kong, I was world champion, and then I was world number one in oh, January. Nice. So everything like what just happened, you know, and you just go like, whoa, you know, this is just like a dream. So yeah, but so you, you must... didn't, um, so you didn't feel like you were more nervous going into the semi-final because you didn't 100% know, or did you sort of know oh, at the no. back of your mind, but you just put it to the back of your mind? Yeah, I just thought like people are talking about it, but I was thinking, you know, like that's just a bonus you know yeah, like for yeah, me yeah. if i if i beat vanessa that would be like great yeah you know? and i only beat her maybe once in the year oh, and that okay. was like a big, huge win for yeah, me. yeah 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 oh wow ah, thank you we got ice cream thank you thank you <laughs> <laughs> and then yours like you yeah how was yeah. your memory like your first well, how um, how strange is it that for me it was also in Hong Kong as yeah, well, yeah. and also the semi final. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it was. So I guess um, all stats in Hong Kong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, a pre it's a pretty memorable feeling as well for it to be on the first of January mm. um, because yeah. it's like New Year's Eve as well, and yeah, it's everything. quite nice. But. Um, yeah. Yeah, the same. But I did definitely know, and I was sort of at first a little, a little annoyed that they told me because I just wanted <laughs> yeah. to concentrate on the semi-final. And everyone's gonna say something, and then, yeah. they go, and then it's just like, oh, okay. Then yeah. you just go, no, no, I just play. Yeah. And, see and it just maybe it felt a little different because it wasn't a world championship. It's like no. yours was obviously that's, I mean, a big thing on its own. Not that yeah. Hong Kong's not big, but for me. With you being there all the time, that it was a big opportunity to like have a match to play yeah. for, and yeah. I don't know whether you ever thought about it, but I, I've said before that I thought it was it would be 
I, I never expected to have a match to play for it. I think I yeah. sort of thought it would be dependent will, a bit more on other people and all oh, such and such bodies lost and so that means happen, that, yeah. you know, but you don't realise that when you actually have a match that that will depend on the next yeah. the next thing that you go like, Oh, okay. Yeah. This is interesting like yeah. it's how it works like yeah. you know and, and the same I guess like I knew I must have been fairly close because of this, mm. the couple of events before it that had gone well but I didn't realise yeah. that I was that close and I think it yeah. was dependent a little bit on, on the run and like, what she'd done before yeah um, but I, I um, probably similar to you really I, mm. I sort of went into the semi-final thinking well, if I beat Renee, then that's a bonus. This is what, yeah, and, yeah, exactly. And I just wanted to be really determined and try and play my best, and mm -hmm. not and not make sure that I missed the opportunity through just playing badly. Yeah, yeah. And if, yeah. if I'd have lost, then you lose and you take it on the chin and move on. But next, yeah. yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty special. It, it felt like I'd won the tournament that night. It was <laughs> yeah. really, it was yeah, really it hard to like. Yeah, it hits you like, and then you realise that okay, oh, I have to play next game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I like having been in that situation. I feel like. It was a pretty monumental effort to go and take the world title for you the next day. Yeah, because yeah. When I knew, I was just like, "This is." I had to turn my phone off at a certain yeah, time yeah. and just be like, "I can't." Oh my god! <laughs> like yeah, it was yeah. So overwhelming. It's, yeah, it's all happening. Like that's the thing. It's just you just don't realize until it actually happens. Then you go like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. This is nice. And then move on, like, okay, next, yeah. next thing. And then, yeah. Well, my phone went crazy. I don't know what yeah. yours was like. It was just like, like I'd won the tournament, if, yeah. but I hadn't. I was obviously had to play you the next day. And I was like, no, I, I don't want to. I just want to enjoy just, this yeah. game. <laughs> so it was tough. Yeah. Um, your turn. Oh, mine. Thank you. All right. Remember when you won your first professional title? Oh yeah, <laughs> the German Open 2004. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was a 5k. Um, it was it was a really small event, but I feel like I'd been on the tour maybe a, a good year, yeah. uh, a year or two, I think, mm -hmm. by then, and done quite well in a few of the events, but yeah. um, never actually managed to win a title. There's a few of the I played. Um, do you remember Corinne Pastet? Yes. <laughs> she yeah, was really she was annoying. Yeah, she was really like, very machine. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. So there was a she couple of finals, finals that I, well, I lost to her in a few of the finals before yeah. that. And then um, I can't actually remember who I played in the final of the German Open. I just remember that was my first title. Was what, the, for like a WSC, like World of now PSA, but like a World Series, like first professional World Series uh, title was like, your first one? I don't know, I think um, I think the Cleveland one was Cleveland, pretty big for yeah. me because I'd yes. never made a gold final before that yeah. one. Yeah. So that was pretty big and then um, mm. uh, yeah, I think I think that was probably the main one in my mind mm. that I remember as like the first big the one because even one. though it was only I say 50, only gold. No, 50 but was everybody was huge. in it, wasn't yeah. it? Everyone was there. Yeah, so. yeah. What about you? Mine was actually in uh, the Finnish Open oh, uh, right. in Mikkeli, and like it, I was uh, it just started that year in on the tour like full time in 2001, and uh, I won. I beat um, Salma Shabana. Oh I'm a, yeah, like, I'm that was a good win. So it's yeah. a good win because yeah. yeah, it was huge. And then I had to jump in the ice ice pool afterwards because I said if I do win this tournament, I will go into the. the <laughs> The ice pond and they actually the reporters like followed me. Okay, you said that like we're gonna bring you there. And I, <laughs> but my yeah, but the, uh, my when it really all kicked off was when I won my first tournament in Kuwait. Like uh, with I beat Granger in the in the finals. Oh, okay, yeah. And it was actually supposedly outdoors, and I played Rachel halfway. I was one of oh, down. I remember. Seven this... one down, and then it, it rained. And then we and moved, moved in. it inside. I and remember. And then I, I beat, I, I just beat her like three one. Yeah. And then, and then um, we played like with Granger indoors again because it rained. But that was my, yeah, it was a big turning point. Like, yeah. In Kuwait in two thousand four. Yeah. Yeah. Was it two thousand four? I remember that Kuwait, tournament. Yeah. Two thousand three um, or two thousand four. Yeah. We we had that tournament. It was a good tournament for me as well because yeah. I was seeded, was in qualifying, yeah. but then I played Isabel. Mm -hmm. 
Stowe mm. and Kate and won three two. And yeah. then I played Omnia in the last round of qualifying and came back from two nil down. And, and then got I through. yeah, I got through and I was so stiff and sore. I think oh no, did I play Omnia first round and then I made quarter final and I couldn't I was yeah, so yeah. stiff and sore but I I was it was a really <laughs> big deal for were me. Quite hard as well. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it made I, it was a big deal for me to make a quarter final of a gold event then. Yeah. So yeah. I was that was a good event for me too. Yeah. All right. Uh, Milo? Yes, yeah. It's quite a lot in there. I know, <laughs> but I think we did, we did how long you <laughs> just we <laughs> just like enjoying it. We're just having a chat. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we just had Q, Q. Remember when you last cried because of squash? <laughs> <laughs> well, last time I cried before because of squash. Definitely. It happens a lot. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not publicly, but. <laughs> yeah. I think if I any any losses, definitely. And yeah. after any squash loss, because you just want it so bad, and you know, and it's gonna it's gonna happen. Yeah. There's no there's no two ways about it. But then you also have, you also cry because you win, like like the like the big wins. Yeah. I just like bob blobbering away. Yeah. And so that's. That's when like, my last time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, so last time I cried because of squash. Like prop. Uh, let me think. Well, I feel like um, the the last big like like distraught sort of cry was probably before I took that break in Chicago last year when I lost to Emma. Oh. Right. Um, yeah. Like that was like prop. Like that took days. Yeah. They used to get over weeks, probably months. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> with she, oh, a break, yeah, I took a, yeah. I took a break, and that was pretty tough. Um, mm. But you know, like yeah, yeah, I, I agree. There's always, a f even if it's not proper crying, there's, all, there's even always even after, something. Yeah, yeah, even the British Open just gone. Yeah. Not because of losing so much, just because of you how just... rubbish it had been in the build up, and mm. then how rubbish I'd felt on court, and then the fact that it was at home and that that people were there to watch me and you just get upset yeah it's um, just everything around it but then you know yeah but i think if you don't if, it if you don't you. if you don't cry i think something is not yeah. then it doesn't mean as much i think yeah. that's what i think and yeah uh, if that stops then something is seriously wrong yeah <laughs> exactly. that's that's, that's yeah. my take i think but. i think i see a few a few of the girls sometimes play and come off and be laughing and i think how yeah yeah how? Like, i'd I, be around the corner sort of <laughs> yeah. out of the way and yeah i think the best the people that you see that lose grab their bag and go yeah. like shibagi is <laughs> really good like yeah, he's literally yeah. in a taxi before he's even picked up his bag half the time you, you just but. know like those one, like which players actually want it badly, right? So. Yeah. All right. Next one. Are we going through the whole box? I don't know. <laughs> Remember when you realized squash was going to be your life? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I never really thought for a long time that it would be my job. I just sort of carried on. I was at school and then at college and then was playing. And oh, you went we, through college as well, yeah, right? Yeah, or like, not university, the, oh, but, like, but to 18, like, you know, in England, uh, yeah, we, call, yeah, we yeah. call it sort of college, so to 18. And because the lottery funding in England was really good back then, it was, mm. um, it meant that all through college I got to, we, we went to like the Swiss Open as a team and yeah, all yeah. the Rising Star events were there. So when I left college, um, I was I had a ranking of about 60 I think mm. just from playing sort of like junior rising star events yeah. and um, small senior events and then I thought I can either go to university or I can give it a go on tour so I just yeah, yeah. literally thought I'll oh, just, just give, give it, it a go. year yeah. and see and um, my ranking went up quite quickly and I thought oh well I Why might not? as well stick it out. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so just... then and then you think when your ranking gets up and you start to earn then a you... bit of money but I was I was working a part time job for the per, really? for the first two years on tour, just because it was really hard to get to tournaments and stuff. So yeah. I worked on reception at my gym oh, okay. on Sunday morning early, six <laughs> till two every oh. Sunday, which basically meant I had no Saturday no rest. night. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> no Saturday night. You can and no... afford a Saturday night, but you just have to just rock up <laughs> to the reception. Like, like can like I help with you? Yeah. Matchsticks in my eyes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then a Wednesday late, so three o'clock till eleven o'clock at night. So I had to get two sessions done and dusted by three. Um, in Manchester, in, uh, in Manchester, in Chorley, in so Chorley, okay. I at my gym there. Oh. Um, and it was good though. I feel okay. like it really made me. I feel like it made me appreciate that I wanted to play squash. And <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. And that helped because I didn't want to be on reception at like 5 a.m., getting up at 5 a.m. to do that. Uh, I'm never, I, I really like, 
felt weird when you when people ask me like, oh, you, have you done any like part time stuff? <laughs> I, I just went straight from school and then I just tried one year. You yeah. know, I told my parents, you know, let me give me a year, and then I went up the rankings to top sixteen, and it was all funded. Yeah. So I was like, I'm just gonna give it another shot, another year. So now. 16 years later like you know I'm still playing the tour and yeah I think from then on you just realize like if it you're just having a blast yeah you know, this is like the best life you yeah. can achieve I think sometimes like um, I see the younger people younger players coming through I feel like you know it would actually be quite good for them to have a job especially yeah. to get that Hit discipline that a little bit yeah. and to realize that it's not just really easy but mm. i think if you get up the rankings quickly and you have a certain personality you don't need it yeah, it's yeah just yeah. that sometimes i look and think yeah you'd Maybe. probably appreciate it a bit more if yeah you, you see what comes your yeah. way this is this is like so yeah. much more to it than yeah. just squash right so well did you know that you wanted to be a professional like when um when you were young like 14 15 or I'm um, more when I I think when I won my first world junior uh, my second my first world junior title in Belgium when I was like 15. Yeah. I never really thought of it until I won that, um, and then it kind of like I just switched on going maybe if this is I can an, do this, this is an in the yeah, yeah in the in the seniors you know yeah, so yeah, yeah. so I just decided oh why not give it a shot like slowly and then yeah. everything got better as well yeah yeah, yeah. but okay. is it like two more questions so, yeah. Oh, this one is just remember when um, when you first started driving. <laughs> <laughs> um, start driving. So I, yeah, like I remember my 17th birthday. Since you're in the car, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and my dad had made me take directions before sat navs and phones, like made me write down directions to every yeah. squash club around my area so <laughs> that I knew where sure. I was going on my own. Because yeah. he was like, as soon as you pass your driving test, I'm You're never gonna, coming no. to another squash match again. <laughs> I've had it. I'm done, I've done my yeah. quota for, so, for life. My birthday was in November and yeah. um, I took lessons and I passed in, say, like March, I think, yeah. um, which was quite quick considering I was playing and 17? playing away. Yeah, 17. Yeah, okay. And uh, we, and yeah, it all went quite straightforward, but I did crash within the first year. <laughs> I, had I think everybody tiny, has a crash, yeah. yeah. A tiny little car that I had, and um, and I just, uh, <laughs> I, I smashed into a car in front that had the big caravan pull thing on the oh, back, no. and smashed yeah. all my radiator, but the damage didn't look that bad, yeah, so yeah. I decided to carry on going where I was going, <laughs> and it blew up like halfway there. No, really? Like, so just then, smoke well, in everything? Yeah, so I had to pull over, and I was like, oh, I can't get to where I'm going, and it was a disaster and <laughs> cost about a thousand pound my dad repaired it for me i think no. it was worth more than the car yeah but there we go <laughs> what about a you good story <laughs> mine i actually like my sisters were driving me and my friends were all driving me and i didn't have time because i was playing tournaments so 16 7 like 17 and so i finally had time at 18 plus i was like oh i'm at home i can get my license and i i just like and also i was sponsored you know so at the time and then they gave me a car it's a local sponsor and they just um so i had yeah i had a nice manual and <laughs> until this day the car is still working so really? yeah and so, you never crashed it well not that car but my, i crashed my my uh, and i look like my little mini cars with my my sister's car <laughs> yeah. yeah came out all right at the end okay. just fixed as up long as everyone's bit. okay everyone's then. okay and it's fine and i crashed into someone like it was just the lights were didn't turn yellow it just went straight to red and i was like huh and then i i kind of like did hit the brakes and then the car behind like just like hit me and then they were like oh it's you like, it's like in penang and then they go like no it's fine it'll be fine like <laughs> bonus yeah bonus. but then we just all caught up had a drink after that and it was fine so my dad came by and helped out with everything oh that's good well it's all good now <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, one more one, yeah oh you can just think of me. <laughs> um, oh, While you're thinking, I have a little bit. Remember when mm -hmm. um, you first moved away from home? Mm. I my first time was um, yeah moving to Amsterdam to work with Liz in 2003. I was um, 18, 18 plus, and I actually moved with Sharon. So oh, it yeah, was yeah. nice, nice to just have at least another Malaysian. Player, yeah, and she was like a sister you know she was same age as my sister and like she showed me the ropes and 
Liz that she looked after. Was she already us. living there then? No, no, we you both moved, moved at the together. same time. Oh. And the first time we moved there, we didn't have a place to stay yet, so we crashed on this is <laughs> like apartment floor, like just for the yeah, for yeah. the time being, and then we found a place after. Yeah. But it was like such a great time. We just laughed most of the time, and we had such great training with Liz. And then from then on, I just knew I. I just wanted to stay here yeah. and then and then Sharon moved on to work in train in Belgium and then I a year and a half later and then I shared a place with uh, Ashling uh, yeah, yeah. for like seven and a half years and wow <laughs> and now it's now I have my own place so yeah so it's made it's just like now Amsterdam is second home for sure and how was it leaving leaving home and your family and stuff because I've never really been through that with being oh, yeah. at home and stuff but oh, obviously yeah, you, I feel home. like it would would be it's tough, yeah. a, a tough to start but then sort of really you yeah. know a nice feeling of being independent as well and it is it's like you get into a place where you you I was just so excited you know I yeah. I, I was so into what Liz was trying to tell me and the training and I was so engrossed with all the new stuff that I had to learn and the traveling it was fun and then but then the moment you you are about to come back home, like a week before, that's when I start like, oh, I can't wait for to see everyone, eat everything. <laughs> yeah, but then it still happens to this day. Yeah. But I, when I'm away, I'm away, and I'm just fully focused on yeah. my training, and yeah, it, yeah. and it's fine. Like, yeah. you know. <laughs> that's good. Oh, well, cool. Nice catching yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. Nice road trip. We didn't yeah. get very far. But. <laughs> yeah.